Hello, welcome to Oceanography 201 Online. Uh, I will be your instructor this semester. And I, my name is Michelle, and this is Rowan here, trying to put him to sleep. Um, but uh, let's go over the syllabus a little bit if you guys have had a chance to take a look at it. Uh, I have office hours, uh, so if you guys are on island, on Oahu, and you guys want to come into the office hours, uh, feel free to do so during those hours. Otherwise, uh, you can feel free to email me uh, at any point. I regularly check my email. So if you guys have any questions, if you're having trouble accessing the textbook online, just let me know right away so I can get in contact with the publisher and get that squared away for you. Uh, because getting online access to the website is important because we will be doing all of our uh, homework assignments uh, from the website. So uh, just read through the syllabus. You'll see we have some uh, boilerplate language here uh, about the college's uh, mission statement. But essentially, we have an op open door policy. So if at any time you have any questions about anything whatsoever, please do not hesitate to contact me or anybody else on campus. And we will try our best to help you out. Uh, course description uh, is straight from the catalog. Uh, essentially, you'll be learning uh, a lot of different stuff about oceanography and what's in the ocean. Uh, learning resources. Uh, this is our textbook. Uh, I am enrolled in the IDAP program uh, as uh, in order to try to keep the cost of the textbook down. So if you uh, want to opt out of the IDAP program and get the online access and the textbook through a different method, you are, are free to do so. Just follow the instructions in the syllabus here and you can do that. Uh, but just make sure that you do get access to the website, otherwise you won't be able to do the homework. So let me know if you're having problems um, accessing the textbook and we will go from there. Uh, your student learning outcomes. These are the learning outcomes, so hopefully I can teach you something. And this is an online class, so do make sure that you have access to uh, a computer and an internet. And if you don't, uh, please let me know right away. Uh, we do have accommodations on campus if you are on island. Otherwise, uh, if you are not on island, the local libraries generally have uh, computers that you can use for free. Um, and maybe some internet cafes in your area um, may also suffice as well too. Uh, but let me know. We can work things out if you are still having trouble getting access to the internet. Uh, your grading scheme. So we will have uh, discussions periodically throughout the semester. So those are going to be worth 100 points uh, total. Uh, so each, each discussion will be Depending on how many we do, will be anywhere between 5 to 10 points. Uh, your online homework, so we'll have uh, at least 10 homework assignments. Anything over 10 homework assignments will be extra credit. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to grade the top 10 best homework assignments. So if you get 10 homework assignments that you get 10 points on, then you get the 100 points. Uh, and then if you do two extra homework assignments, then those will be counted towards your extra credit towards your overall grade. So it's important to do your uh, homework. Uh, you, you are allowed to miss a couple. Uh, there should be about 13 or 14 homework assignments this semester. So uh, plan accordingly. All right. Uh, we do have three exams in this class. And each one is worth 100 points. So your total score at the end of the semester should be around 500 points. Uh, you can see the letter grade breakdown on the right hand side there. And um, so each exam is not cumulative. So you don't need to remember first exam material for the third exam. It's not a final exam. Uh, so each exam will cover about four chapters. So the first exam, for example, will cover chapters one through four. And that is scheduled to be somewhere in the, at the end of September. Uh, so, but you'll see the schedule at the end of the syllabus right here. And we'll go over that. Um, so your homework 
you have module homeworks uh, that will be on La Lima. So you'll see on the left hand column there, you'll see an introductory module and a module one right now. And so those um, will have different tasks that you'll need to do. So for instance, intro introductory module, uh, you just need to introduce yourself on the discussion board and include a photo of yourself so that people can see who you are. And uh, we do have online homework that will be due on Monday. Uh, I might extend that due to the hurricane that we're having. So keep an eye out for that announcement. Uh, exams, exams will need to be proctored. So they will not be online only. So you will need to go into the UH testing center to take the exam if you are on island. If you are not, um, then we will set up uh, a way to do it either through your local library or there are approved testing centers. Um, and the link in the uh, syllabus will give you um, an idea of where those testing centers are at. If you have problems finding a testing center, please let me know right away. Uh, I do know that local libraries around the nation do proctoring uh, for exams. And uh, I don't know if they're for a fee, but uh, let me know if you have trouble doing that uh, before the exam week date. Uh, that way we can try to uh, accommodate you in the best way possible. Uh, do keep in mind that these exams are closed notes, so you can't use your textbook or your notes or the internet to uh, complete the exam, but you do get access to one index card, and this is a four by six index card. You can write anything on this index card front and back, so feel free to write or draw whatever you want. Uh, this, this is the only thing that you can use during the exam. Now the exam will be structured as a 20 question exam. 18 of those questions will be multiple choice and two of them at the very end will be fill in the blank images. Now these images you would have seen throughout the lectures and the course. So these images come straight from the textbook. I don't take them from online so it's not like you've never seen them before. It will be something that you have seen a number of times through the PowerPoint as well as through the uh, homework. So uh, study those and um, you will need to fill in different parts of that image. So for instance, if I ask you to um, label the continental shelf, you will need to know the different parts of the continental shelf. And when we get to the marine chapter three marine provinces, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, if for whatever reason you cannot do the exam during the exam period, uh, you need to let me know as soon as possible so we can make arrangements. Um, if you cannot do the exam for reasons such as, oh, I forgot, or I just have too many other things going on right now, that's not a valid excuse. Um, if you have a doctor's note, that is a valid excuse, All right? So just let me know if you guys have any questions on that whatsoever. Uh, discussion, any discussions that we have on the discussion board um, will be graded accordingly and they will be, uh, they will happen throughout the semester depending on the topics that we're covering. Um, if you need to withdraw, um, the withdrawal date I believe is, believe is in October, uh, but let me know. Uh, incomplete, if you for whatever reason cannot complete the course during the semester, please let me know. We can talk about it and figure out ways of uh, handling uh, that situation. And as always, if you have um, any concerns, please let me know. And no cheating in this class, please. Uh, I will have to report it if you do cheat. And yeah, let's go down to the schedule. So right now I have uh, the schedule based off of week, a uh, week periods. So during this first week, we are going to be talking about chapter one, which is introduct the introductory to oceanography. Um, pretty basic. And then next week, we will be looking at plate tectonics. And then your first exam will be the last week in September. So you will need to complete your exam 
sometime during that week. Again, let me know if you cannot do that. <clears throat> and then your second exam is scheduled for the last week in October. And then your third exam is scheduled for uh, the, the finals week uh, in December, so December 10th through the 14th. So please let me know if you cannot make any of those exams um, and we will uh, go, we will plan accordingly, all right? So each week we have, we are focusing on a different chapter. So uh, please keep up with the material. All right, so let me switch over to the introductory PowerPoint slide that I have. All right, so your textbook is this Essentials of Oceanography by Alan Trujillo and Harold Truman. So make sure you are getting this uh, particular textbook when you go onto the website. Uh, all lecture materials will be available on La Lima. So that includes any of these PowerPoints, your syllabus, um, and your grades will also be posted on La Lima. So keep an eye out for that. If there are any discrepancies in your grades whatsoever, please let me know immediately so I can uh, remedy that. And you can reach me at my email, mhw at hawaii.edu. I check my email regularly, so feel free to contact me whenever you have any questions. Your discussions will also be off of La Lima, so keep an eye out for those. They will be associated with an email, so keep an eye out for those emails whenever I post something or announce something. Your, uh, these, this is your student registration instructions on how to register for the online uh, website for Pearson. Uh, keep in mind, you do need to have access to the Pearson website so we can do our homework. Uh, if you have any uh, questions whatsoever about these instructions, please let me know. When you get to the point where it asks for an access code, make sure you are putting in the access code that I have uh, copied into the announcement and called Pearson Registration, uh, Pearson Website Registration. Uh, that access code will allow you to uh, bypass the credit card information and it will charge your student account instead and it will be a cheaper cost than if you uh, put in the credit card information. So make sure you do that. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to email me uh, as soon as possible. Now make sure when you get to the course page that you are in the Fall 2018 Hone CC OCN 201 course. If you are in any other course, then you are in the wrong one and you're not in mine. So make sure you uh, double check that. Uh, so making sure that you do the homework and um, the discussions, all of those are mandatory now. They are not optional. They are part of your overall course grade. So make sure you are keeping up with the work, make sure you're keeping up um, with the topics at hand, and that way uh, you can get the best score possible in this class. Uh, if you, for whatever reason, are on island and you want to stop by, I do have a face-to-face -face lecture that's taught on Monday and Wednesdays from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 2.15. Uh, so if you feel like you want to come into the lecture uh, during a specific chapter, feel free to do so. Um, otherwise, uh, all of the homework assignments and the discussion will be on La Lima and they will be on a weekly basis. Course description. These are the different uh, topics that we'll be covering in this semester's course. Uh, we may not be able to get to uh, distribution of life and biology in the oceans. And if you want to learn more about the biology in the oceans, I do recommend you take my other course, Zoology 200, Marine Biology. That one we focus more on the biology and less of the physics, the chemistry, and the geology that we will be covering um, in this class, this semester. Grading policy, again, three exams, uh, each worth 100 points. Online homework, another 100 points and your uh, participation in the discussion will be another 100 points. Uh, there will be extra credit throughout the semester. So for instance, if you go to the Bishop Museum here in Oahu or the Waikiki Aquarium and you do a two to three page uh, write-up summary of your visit and what you learned and how it relates to this class, then I will give you extra credit and that extra credit will be applied to your overall score. 
Uh, for those of you who are not on island, if you go to your local uh, aquarium or a science museum, that will also count as well too. All right. Let me know if you have any questions and throughout the semester I will post extra credit uh, um, opportunities. All of these extra credit uh, summary write-ups need to be submitted before the last day of class in order to receive credit. So let me know if you have any questions. Exams. Remember three exams, 100 points each. Uh, they are 20 question exams, so 18 are multiple choice and two are fill in the blank images. Uh, so make sure you study up and remember those images now. Uh, you get the index card, 4 by 6 index card, that you can write any notes you want on them, and that is the only uh, material that you can use during the exam. You cannot use your textbook, internet, cell phone, notes, nothing, all right? So put whatever you need on that index card, because that's the only thing you can reference. Now, these exams will need to be proctored according to Honolulu Community College uh, rules. So you can come to the testing center on campus or any public library does do proctoring for exams. So you can set that up as well too. Otherwise we do have a list on our website of different places where you can go and get proctoring. There is a online proctoring tool at a fee. Uh, I don't remember what the cost is off the top of my head, but you can pay for that and then we can uh, issue the exam through that proctoring website as well too. Uh, just let me know what will be easiest for you and we can set it up. All right. Online homework is through the Pearson website, so they will be about 14 or 15 homework assignments throughout the semester, but only your top 10 best assignments will be scored. So make sure uh, you do well on those exams or those uh, homework assignments. Anything over the 10 homework assignments will be counted as extra credit and will count towards your overall score grade. But make sure you do your homework assignments every week now. They are due every Monday. Uh, there's, they're not going to be due any other day. It's going to be Monday at 11.59 p.m. So make sure you don't forget about those. I will try to make sure to send out announcements to remind you guys. Um, but you won't be able to make up missed homework assignments. So it is important to keep up with the homework. All right. Let me know if you're having any issues accessing the Pearson website. And we can uh, make some extensions or work, work things around uh, any issues. All right. And as always, no cheating, please. Uh, otherwise, I will have to report you. But... This is an online course, and this is this course is not meant to trick you, so there should be no reason t for you guys to cheat. So hopefully we have a good semester. I look forward to working with all of you, and let's go into chapter one stuff.